<laughs> let's rip. Oh, we're ripping? Hell yeah, we're ripping. Let it ride. Let it roll. Oh, dude, let's just take a second to acknowledge everyone in the absolute inner sanctum that is the Patreon. Mm. Don't you feel better than all those idiots on the periphery on the free episodes? You have no idea, dude. At no standing, idea. At, standing at the gates of knowledge, looking yeah, at their dude. empty pockets. Now we can do it for real. Now we can really... The first one was a diversion. Think. Um, yeah, bros, what the fuck is up? Uh, let's just recap. That was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. Welcome, welcome to the first episode of Stoner Dads tonight. Well, dude, I need... um. Actually, I need some advice on a project I'm thinking of doing, which is, and I, I think it's a good idea. It might be a complete waste of time, but I think I'm going to start putting up YouTube advertisements where I wanted to do this like as a billboard where I was just like an unofficial spokesperson for Philadelphia, but I'd, like that was kind of a pipe dream. But I think I could start putting up like heavily advertising myself on YouTube, but just for no reason. Just being like, hey, what's up? Yeah, like that guy that just shows off his cars. Yeah, something like that. But doesn't yeah. isn't that isn't that linked to something? Isn't he trying to sell like a business kind of thing? As far as I know, there's nothing behind it. Really? I don't know. There probably is, but that's all I know. <laughs> all I know is a guy <laughs> taking a selfie video with like Lamborghinis behind yeah, it. Yeah, he's like, hey, you guys, can just do that, and there's no second thing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I want to okay. start taking like weird videos and just putting them on YouTube ads and forcing people to watch like bizarro stuff. With mm -hmm. no agenda other than just to make people watch it, I think that would be funny. It's a great marketing ploy, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it kind of is. It's a, it's a great ploy, but it would create. It would create. It definitely would create a mystery. But there, were, there would be genuinely like no link to anything. Would you? Would you even pretend to have vital information, or would you just be like, "What's up? It's Matt again. Checking in." I would just. I, I think There's I would just another fifteen what second. About like, ad. What about fake businesses? I could do fake businesses, or I could just check in. I'm thinking of more so. I'm thinking about just checking in. Just being like, "What's up." <laughs> and it's like hitting them with just like 10 seconds of something I'm thinking might be good for them to hear. How much would it cost to just like clip it? Just do it. Just, just do it. Just rip. And then we'll promote. I mean, dude. Yeah, I, I got to. Don't worry. No, I mean, I want to do it right spot. now. But I want to I want to figure it out. I want to figure it out and start yeah. putting up just like having dudes sitting there waiting for the next video. And it's like, Psst, yeah, Psst. Stop, dude. I'm trying to I'm trying to find out 15 things I didn't know about Spyro the Dragon. I don't want to watch Matt <laughs> checking know. on my vibe. <laughs> or some of them will be silent. Ooh. I, would, I would just be sitting there. Would you be... just have a sign and you just pull it down and it's got the next thing written on it? Like, hey, me, Matt McCusker here. When, I just don't know if I to... I don't know if I'd even do that. I think I'd just be more just like me looking and trying to send them a message, just nothing with with, with nothing more than facial expressions. Oh, mm. uh, like a Dominican baseball player. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's I think it's gonna be a good idea and it'll be fun. But I it might it might be a massive waste of time, but still fun. <laughs> still fun. It's a fine line between those two things at all times. That's true, man. That is true. Yeah, welcome to podcasting, Matt. I hate yeah. the idea of a waste of time. Yeah, that's bullshit. It's not a waste of time. It's a use of time. Yeah, exactly. And there are different uses of time. The the word the, the the only way you can waste your time, shit. I can't even imagine. I don't know. Maybe maybe doing something that you just feel obligated to that doesn't benefit you and and honestly yeah. just brings you down. That's a waste of time. Yep. But like, if if it gave if it gave you a tickle to know that you paid a dollar to have your video forcibly played for some lonely guy and it's just like you going like what's up dude <laughs> yeah literally yeah. before you get to your next video I just wanted to pop in here real quick say what's up yeah uh nothing really beyond that uh you know I guess enjoy this uh yep. fucking breakdown of a, an episode of a cartoon you're watching see you later yeah exactly that's that's mm -hmm. that's kind of the vibe yeah, it's, I mean, you tell me how that's a waste of time. It's not. I'm gonna need I, to see some proof. Oh, I, I think it might be the best idea ever. I'm just, I you're on to something. A lot it. of times, it's you know, I get these ideas and people are like that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Happens all the time. <laughs> Maybe you're just talking to your wife. Yeah, you're sharing your ideas with the wrong people. I think, <laughs> I think so. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Mm -hmm. If she's the only person who has a key to the bad ideas vo a vault, you know, she sees she gets all of them. She, yeah. Sometimes she genuinely goes like, dude, don't. <laughs> don't do that like my theory about brazilians how they sound like they're deaf when they speak english every brazilian sounds like they're fucking deaf when they speak english it's the funniest thing in the world of they <laughs> yeah. have you ever heard anderson silva talk the mma fighter <laughs> no. before you before the first time you hear him talk he's like the baddest dude ever his fighting looks like movie <laughs> kung fu and then when he talks he's like i'm very happy my training camp <laughs> we have 
I want to thank my training partner for getting me ready for this fight. <laughs> <laughs> they put it, I'm just trying to say humble. He's such a aggressive competitor. I have nothing but, nothing but respect for him. <laughs> It's crazy. They all sound You're deaf. right. He sounds like a deaf woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, I just happy you come in here and compete for the fans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bro, for submission. I'm telling you, every time my wife says, don't tell that to anyone, I go, bingo. We got something. We got something here. <laughs> now I'm cooking. <laughs> we got something. Oh, man. Yeah, wow. girls are the best, dude. So fun to think about girls in girl world. Just right now, like, what are they thinking about right now? I guarantee, if you like tapped in right now, you go, <laughs> dude. Mary Jo was telling me a story about how she daydreamed through algebra two and failed. And I, I was like, ah, what were you daydreaming about? And she was like, I don't remember. And I was, I kind of wanted to press the issue. I was like, I'm kind of curious about what a woman would daydream about for eight months. <laughs> 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 I Meanwhile, think she would beg me to not tell her what I was daydreaming about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is funny, yeah. Like, how many people do you think you murder in your head a month? <laughs> oh, <man. Yeah. laughs> you think six million sounds bad yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like thinking more in terms of like countries You know what I mean like, <laughs> Wait, You're taking out entire yeah. countries like, yeah. like megatons Dude yes it's like <laughs> Wait you want, you're saying third. that bodies would stack up the countries Or you want to like Do you have take specific on... countries in mind or are you saying like <laughs> I mean I've, I've been down both roads <laughs> <laughs> Recently Recently Man, you been beefing with countries? I'm not beefing with countries, but sometimes, like you know, collateral damage. I have to make I have to make tough choices sometimes. Oh, like when you're saying the other day that you're just sick and tired of the Ukraine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> man, I sure hope they figure that out, though, man. The not Russians me. Ukrainians. I, I, you wanted the war to go on forever. Yeah, because it's good like for business. It's it's kind <laughs> it's kind of like you can completely check out of it. It mm. seems like it could go on forever. I understand it's extremely expensive, but like people are still like just kind of talking about it distantly, and it's like, all right, man, I feel like things are kind of quiet in my neck of the woods. It's yeah, got, it's got just enough of a distraction, and then maybe if anyone commits any like war crimes, especially if we're, we're like financially invested, maybe we'll get a little bit more UFO footage to distract us. And I like when that happens. Yeah, that's kind of nice. So well, I, think, I, I, let it go, man. I think it is a because you have to, dude. All the other conflicts are on hold, by the way, until they figure that out. There's yeah, too true. much. Yeah, no one else. Is anyone else fighting? There's got to be some more wars. Let's well, China's waiting. I think to just channel, crush right? Taiwan. Yeah. Did they? But I think they're like next in line. Like they're waiting to like. Oh man, they're still in overtime, huh? Okay. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, I wonder, man, because it is. It's a. Ni it's nice to have a nuclear threat hanging over us again. We didn't have that. We before. need it. Yeah, we have a nice. We absolutely know, need it. Yeah, we don't have it. We have a nuclear threat, and now it's like it's good for the news. They get a lot of money for that. Yeah. Well, it was Russia for the longest time. Yeah. Well, right? it and then still they is. Passed, they, they passed the baton. Oh yeah, yeah. And they passed baton to uh, Middle East. They literally tagged them in. Like yeah. they went and fought them. The Soviet Union fought the Middle East, and they're like, "Your turn, guys." Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And now Rainbow three. And they, and they like are these Middle East guys done? Have they bombed anything lately? I haven't heard. I of think it. they took control of actual cities and towns, and now they're sitting in like. I mean, obviously still made of, like, clay and dust, but they're sitting in, like, office buildings, and they're just like, oh, this kind of sucks. I kind of like sleeping out in the desert more. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of like just sitting on a rug outside and having pussy and little boys brought to me. This kind of stinks. <laughs> this feels like I'm, I'm, now it feels like I'm doing a job every day. Yeah, I like what true, we were doing before. True. Wait, now they, we, now, <laughs> we dropped the American dream on them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now yeah. they actually have to, like, run, like, towns and stuff. And yeah. Fuck, dude, I guess they're still letting me carry an AK-47, but, like... That does rule. Yeah. Every time I go to fire this thing, I'm just shooting holes in the ceiling. I mean, dude, imagine waking up in the morning, putting on an altar server costume, and carrying an AK-47. That sounds cool. Yeah, But then rule. you realize that, like, you're just waiting at stoplights so that yeah. you can get into an office building, and you're, like, you see the front desk person, you got, like, a briefcase and an AK-47 every Car day. You're carrying, like, a Stinger missile on it. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the elevator with another guy with an RPG. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? Everyone, uh, are you not? Hello. No. <laughs> what floor do you have, my friend? <laughs> Everyone's briefcase is wired with a bomb. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's sitting on the floor of the elevator. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, there's slaves in the basement pulling the elevator up. <laughs> 
Hey man, how's he going? Ah, oh, you know, my wives. Hey, la, 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 la. <laughs> but I can't complain. <laughs> Is that his woman yeah. trying to read? <laughs> hey, you want to come stab that man later? <laughs> his wife was rude, and so we must make him pay. I don't know. I kind of wanted to get home on time. My wife's been really bitching at me for hanging out at the office too much. <laughs> They pass the floor where a guy's just on fire. It's like, ah! <laughs> in, a, in a cage inside the building. <laughs> okay, man. Well, hey, you want to get lunch? <laughs> I bet you they actually have real scream rooms. Oh, you'd have to. You have to have oh, for sure. scream rooms. No. They actually just dig little holes in the ground that are like are tunnels to the outside, and they scream into the tunnel so that it comes out and everybody outside oh. can hear it. Are you sure they have scream rooms where they have... <laughs> 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 I mean, dude, that's got to have some sort of like good effect on you to go like, ah! I felt good when I, I did it. it. Yeah, I, like, nice. I was it jealous. Good. You got yeah. to do it. I'm like, well, I'm doing it now. I'm not gonna <laughs> what, what if we all did it at the same time as loud as we could? <laughs> I mean, do you think we would all feel all experience some kind of con calling. catharsis? Uh, Let's try. try. One, all right, ready? Two, three. Whoa! Dude, people are <laughs> cowering in fear. <laughs> cowering in fear. Someone check on our enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fantasizing that someone's oh. going to be listening to this with uh, headphones, just like without headphones. <laughs> <laughs> this is the final second of w at least a couple of people ever listening to Stoner Dad. They're <laughs> 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 just pulling out an ear about it. It's just like, ah, right. yeah, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. You can go back to fucking comedy death ray or whatever. Yeah, that's kind of nice, though, man. Like, the I mean, it's a whole different set of rules you live under. It's just completely normal. You know? What do you mean? It's like you, you go out. Cultures? Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cultures. cultures do be like that. It'd yeah. be cool to just try out those rules, though, for a little bit. Like, yeah, we don't know what it's really like to be under those rules. Could be kind of fun. I mean, for the fellas. Like, you just made it kind of fun. People for the, for want the it. the babes, too. For the people, babes, if you yeah. don't know any better or people, anything else. People are disgusted yeah. with the fact that they can kind of do whatever they want. They want a principle. That's what I'm saying. And you should have like, a principle until you retire, and I think that would make the majority of people more comfortable. Have principles till you retire, you're saying? What do you mean? Like, you should feel like you're in school. Like, every day you should feel like you're following... Oh, they have principal. Principal. You're following Prince, Prince of Pal. Pal. Yeah, yeah, he's Prince yeah, of Pal. Not, you're, you're, you're not just following... The <laughs> <laughs> you, know, like you need Prince of Pat. You're not just following, you know, the state code. Yeah. You're also following a smaller subset of rules and you're getting like grounded in shit until yeah. until you reach old age. And I think that that would smooth out a lot of Dude, people. Dude, I think I still need to be beaten every now and again. Oh, I honestly think it would help me if I got beaten in front of my entire neighborhood. Like, I wish I would have beat the fuck out of my dad when he was younger. Really? Yeah, that like two week period where we crossed over where I could beat his ass and he wasn't so old that it would be sad. I should have struck while the iron was hot and I missed my chance. And yeah, now, now, be fucked now up. if I did, it would just be sad and weird. <laughs> I've just never had any actual direct conflict with my dad, but it would have been really great to just beat the fuck out of him. Beat his ass. <laughs> yeah, my dad <laughs> called me out. Really? Yeah, he was just like, do you think would you, you do it? I was like, fuck no. He asked yeah. you if you were feeling froggy. Yeah. And like, you went, rrr, rrr. You, told him, you told him you ate pussy for the first time? Sid, <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> you, me, backyard, nah. I don't care what she says about foreplay. This is my weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like pussy so much, I'm going to show you what a pussy is, boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please, both parents. Yeah. <laughs> Forever. Yeah. <laughs> so he called you out? So yeah, he called me out over a, a fucking washcloth. Whoa. Like, I, like, after a shower, like I left my washcloth on the soap, which ruins the soap. Wait, which wait, is what he was coming so, so Basically, soap, there's soap a bar of No, agent. it doesn't. But Soap's a self-cleaning agent. Yeah. You just put no, no, it in no, one second it, of water. It, no, it, it keeps it dissolving because something wet is on it. How long did you leave it on there? Like a I mean, it week would, and I would a half? Like, no, I would just like <laughs> leave and, you know. It shrank the soap. The soap didn't disappear on the Wait, so you put the bar of soap on the thing, right? And then you put the washcloth you used on top of the soap. I did. And what happened to the soap? I did it multiple times. Oh. oh. Yeah. So you're disrespectful. Then. It wasn't disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, it, wasn't no. even, it wasn't disrespectful. I would, dude, it was like, uh. Dude, the first time you do that, you don't know. The first time you do that, you don't know. You get warned. The second time you do it, that's a mistake. The third time, that's defiance, dude. Yeah. yeah. Here's the Anything deal. after that, it's on site. Here's the, <laughs> the, 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 the way the shower was made, the dish, the, the soap uh, dish thing that was mm -hmm. in, like, embedded in the shower. For sure. Uh -huh. Dude, it was, it was huge. It was like a hoop. Like a like a bowl, so right. when I would finish a shower, I would toss it over and my sky shoulder. Hook the soap. Basically, no, sh <laughs> I would skyhook the washcloth oh, right. onto the soap. So sometimes I wouldn't even make it. 
And then I would like grab it off the floor and just like hang it up on a thing. But when if it if it ever went in, I just kept it moving. Yeah, that's a two points. You know what I'm saying? So it was like it happened multiple times. My dad, I came home and my dad was I opened the door and he was standing right there and he threw the washcloth in my face. Obviously, yeah. Dude, and it like it like latched onto my face like a fucking alien squid. Like an octopus. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Oh. And I and I pulled it off, and he There's was definitely just, pubes on your face, by the way. <laughs> my pubes, yeah. it's my pubes. <laughs> but yeah, tell, uh, genetically, you couldn't tell. Honestly, you could DNA test them; it'd be just you wouldn't be able to tell. Can you not tell between a father and a son or something? Damn, Sid, Sid ate his dad's pubes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you would definitely be Sid able to tell. His dad's tell. Yeah, pubes. He, his pubes. Dude, he had fucking dry. pubes from his generation. Yeah, he is, true. You know, he's from the greatest generation. Their pubes were like fucking uh, rebarb. Yeah, they're strong pubes. Yeah. Yeah, you can use that as a Brillo pad if you get enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they can sell them. <laughs> so he got, he greedy, he was dished out, there was a washcloth in the face. Right in my face. And then you went, what'd you do? Well, I pulled it off and he was just like, you know, he, he again, he was taking it as a matter of defiance. Yeah. You know, and he was just like. That's you get slapped with a glove, basically. Basically. <laughs> yeah. He pulled one glove off on me. Yeah. yeah. So what, what'd you say? And then, he, and then he was like, you must be, you must be at a point where you're ready to fight me. Like, if, like he, he was just like, do you disrespect me X amount of times in a row? Those are fighting words. Damn. Yeah. What'd you do? How'd you get out of it? I said, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> 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 Dude, my dad was jacked as fuck, man. And he was like, he had like one of the scariest reputations of, as a yeah, fighter yeah. I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. You know? Dude, there was this one time I was at the rec you center. You could have dethroned him though. Nah, not possible, dude. I, so this one time I was at a at, at rec center. I was like, I was a, a little bit of a prodigy in playing pool, mm. but kids weren't allowed <laughs> to be. Dude, so challenge me, dude. I'm good as fuck at pool. Yeah. Can I send champion? Yeah, yeah. I'll play, yeah, yeah, champion. Spend, we, we, play, we played at your bachelor party. You guys are nice. Yeah, uh, we fucking and then we bowed to each other. It was we very won. respectful. Um, I think, I, dude. I don't even know if we finished the game because like the mushrooms started to kick in, uh, yes, yeah, and yeah, then we just went outside. For sure. It was like we both showed each other like. What's you know, up? What, what we can do, you know, uh -huh. we, you know, and uh, but yeah, so kids weren't allowed to play on this pool table, yeah. but like I was allowed because I was You're pretty nasty, good, yeah. So these two dudes were playing, and I had next, and uh, I went up to start racking the balls, and a guy took the rack from me and put it down, like the guy who was after me mm -hmm. took the rack from me and started racking the balls. And uh, this guy named Clapper, he was like, Yo, that's Bobby Towson's son. And dude left the rack and went over and sat down. Well, it's so weird how pool is such a ruffian's game, but then it's like these guys are like, it's it's such like a ruffian sport, but then it's just like anyone who plays is like a distinguished, like, British gentleman. Like, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah why but is it so tough? That, you can put English on the ball. There's the game and there's the meta. The meta involves like a level of degeneracy yeah, and kind of true. like deception and shit like that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, like you can only increase the pot by kind of, you know, masking some shit and that's yeah. where yeah, that it, personality yeah. type comes in. Because it involves gambling, drinking, smoking, you know. Yeah, I guess manipulating so. Manipulating people, pretending you can't play, mm -hmm. hustling people. Yeah, it's so weird. I, I can't, I just can't play very well. Mm. And the thing is, you don't need any kind of physicality to back all that up. Yeah, so you could right. be a complete worm man <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with like extremely receded hairline and just the wispiest goatee and you could be a king of a billion Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Spud was explaining to me that he does, that he'll like, you don't want to show someone how good you are. I was like, why? Why don't you just be the exactly. best you could be? And he's like, no, no, no. You want to like feel them out. And I'm like, this is fucking nuts. Yeah. It, unfortunately, pool is one of those games where you can like play down to your opponent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if your opponent's not that good. You can because you're you're trying to not show, and you don't know if they're trying to not show. Why? Why all the whys? Why not just be the best you can be? I don't know. It's it's, it's ingrained in the game. But it I, is. I, it's I, such I didn't, a sneaky. I didn't game. always play like that. I only tried hustling twice, and it was the scariest, the two scariest nights of my life, dude. It was so fucking scary. What happened? Uh, Uncle so, Phil came and bailed you out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fresh princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I tried to. Uh, what was Jazzy to, uh, Jeff's last name? <laughs> Sid needs it for this part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried it in Texas when we were living in Texas and I was at this bar and you know I was like hustling a little bit but I was trying to stay on the table yeah. right and uh, this big ass dude he had to be like 6'7 his name, he, his name do you was mind Snake. by the way as you tell the story do you mind if I imagine all the characters wearing gigantic cowboy hats <laughs> Snake Snake was the only one the, he, but you can yeah. but Snake actually was... I'm also gonna go with big head mode alright oh. I'm enjoying your story proceed <laughs> yeah. please yeah 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 actually can I can I give you some music Sydney? I'll go for it <laughs> 
<laughs> Go ahead. Spit. All right. So Snake shows up. Yeah. And big, big, big dude. And he's watching me play. And he had next on the table. And the first thing he says is, uh, because we were, we were gambling and yeah. I was winning. And he was like, uh, nobody in here better not be trying to be hustling tonight. Was there a developer about to buy the town? <laughs> <laughs> and then the sheriff came in and said, got, got a phone call, might be a couple of hustlers in the building this evening. It turns out he was corrupt the whole time. Uh, <laughs> Patrick, I don't need to remind y'all what happened to the last man thought he might come down here and hustle. He reached for a, a, a six-shooter on his hip. He tipped his gigantic cap on his enormous head. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate y'all working with me. <laughs> Dude, he goes. <laughs> we, uh, I mean, I know your Yankee tricks down here. <laughs> yeah, he goes like nobody... that kind of stuff may fly up in New York City, but around here we don't take too kindly to it. <laughs> Let me guess, you one of them Union soldiers? <laughs> 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 uh, everyone's yeah. waiting no one's making a sound everyone stares at the sheriff waiting for the next move and he goes well y'all have a good night then and steps out and oh. yeah, looks like the type of filler that don't make his own lemonade <laughs> 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 so snake's there you're there snake, snake's there yeah and he hits me so as ten feet that boy had too Dude. much iced tea <laughs> so fucking big man so big. Oh. Uh, How'd you get on a first name basis? What's the back? I need the backstory. Wait, what's his name again? Snake. Snake. Snake? Yeah. Is that his, his given name? name? His government name? His government name? Nah, I mean, that's what everybody was calling him. Like, he, he was Snake. And then, uh, so as he was coming up, he was like, nobody in here better be hustling. And they go, <laughs> and, they go, and I shit my pants on the spot. You know what you should have said? You know what you should have said? As soon as he's like, "Yeah, my name is Snake," I was like, "Why is that? Because you're a pussy." Ooh. Oh, dude, this might be one of the three biggest men I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Pause. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was why they called him Snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt in my mind. Hustling. <laughs> I better not have any hustlers about tonight, or I will shut down this billiards hall. We don't like big city folk around here. <laughs> <laughs> so you're there. Just uh, make it. So, <laughs> I, I'm going to finish his sentence, right? Sid went, gulp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the mayor's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen. See Mr. Gant to his car. Make sure no harm comes of him. I'd hate for someone to take offense to his actions this evening. You got it, boss. We break ground tomorrow. <laughs> There'll be no more talk of saving this rec center. <laughs> <laughs> He's smoking a long cigar. <laughs> Boy, start in big head mode. I'm sorry, it's out here. <laughs> start up the truck and escort this boy back to where he come from at the Greyhound station. Someone give Mr. Gann a ride back to New York City. <laughs> so, sir, that's like a uh, two and a half day drive each way. Perfect. <laughs> Take my limousine. Go on now, kid. <laughs> Take my limousine. Go on. You take care now, boy. It's a 40 foot stretch limo with bullhorns on the front. Yeah. <laughs> Sid drives 19 hours standing out at the top of it with his shirt pulled over his tits. <laughs> oh, Go so on, Sid. It was snake. Yeah. He ain't got Dude, no, he ain't ain't got no cowboy I got boots a, <laughs> What the fuck is Timberland? <laughs> you got some funny looking cowboy boots on, boy. <laughs> it means a land of woods, sir. <laughs> By my reckoning, those spurs are fresh out of the box. <laughs> so, Snake comes in. Sets right? the tone. So he's next. Drops and meat on the table. No, yeah. I mean, dude. So he says... Nobody better not be hustling in here. Nobody move. Because I got something in my car that doesn't like hustlers. Who's the sheriff? Or... 
Oh, Dude, I'm not what? trying to was fucking this last, find was out. Was this guy's last name Roberts? Snake Roberts. <laughs> 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 he just pulls out a python. <laughs> Every time someone tries to hustle. <laughs> this DDT people were trying to hustle and pulls out a python. <laughs> so, so it's me, the million dollar man, and Snake. <laughs> so what happened? I what said you, Ted. What'd you do? I, I ended up just like playing my heart out. I was terrified. It was like, what did he? Was did he approve or like what happened? No, nah, dude. What, I would have called he, his like, bluff. Nah, man. I would have scratched when he, when he said that. Like the, the the fucking locals and the people that knew him in the bar were just like, they Got were quiet. they were just like, dude, yeah. fucking chill, yeah. chill. <laughs> so it was like, nah, I'm not fucking with Snake on his home turf. True. Nah. What was this? Is, you're just out, just hanging around. Yeah, I, would, I was. You know, I would. Go play pool and make a little money there. Yeah, yeah. You know? But it was like nobody was really that good. Not in Snake's territory. Nah, man. dude. I was there for like three weeks before Snake showed up. Really? Yeah. I was like, like that was my first time seeing him there. Oh, so maybe maybe uh, they told Snake about you. Yeah, maybe word spread. Yeah. <laughs> Heard there's that boy over there down there is cleaning up good. He's cleaning up good money down there. <laughs> Snake said, what the hell? <laughs> We got one of them Virgils up there causing a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Dusting up trouble. <laughs> and, and not for nothing, boss, but he takes to wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> you think Snake was crushes a somewhere beer can sitting on a porch in a rocking chair? Oh, for sure. <laughs> you you take my, in. you may take my billiards money, but you may not take all the pussy. <laughs> 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 not in Snake's billiards hall. I don't want to say he doesn't belong here, but he's wearing red and he forgot the white the blue that goes with it. <laughs> <laughs> we peeked on in his apartment. He was eating a white lady's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like about his third time out there. <laughs> I'm no expert, but I said about his third time in the pussy. <laughs> white lady wiggling around like she was possessed. <laughs> like she was possessed. I watched for quite a while. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they say they took Daisy to the OBGYN and she tested positive for nigger lips. <laughs> What is the test for that? <laughs> oh, you got some chicken grease residue on your uh, vagina. I tried to examine it and I slid right off. You said her pussy lips had a Kool Aid ring? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you just add water and her pussy turns blue. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've never seen this before, but it looks like the only part of your body that's positive for diabetes type 2 is your pussy lips. <laughs> Her pussy has to wear prescribed socks. Oh, man. oh my God. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The danger of losing a foot off your pussy oh lips, man. <laughs> Forensics obtained a hot sauce sample from the oh. passenger seat of a fat woman's Ultima. <laughs> said, we got to make a western of you in Texas, dude. That'd be the best fucking movie. Oh, God. dude, Texas was it was it was it was weird. Oh, it was fuck. a weird place to live, man. Sounds insane. Yeah. Whatever happened to Snake? Did you did you you left those parts or what happened? I think we kind of became friends. Like he respected my game. The next time I saw him, he uh, tried to have me play somebody, and because uh, he dominated you, <laughs> brother. He Can came in and said, "Hide who you are," and Sid was like, "Yes, sir." No, he showed. He revealed. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, he was trying uh, to hustle. He's he was trying hustler. to make a little money. It's an old hustler. Yeah, but it was like I Snake mean, came in and said, "That's my gig. You're gonna stop now." And you went, "You got it." <laughs> You think was? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> that's for sure what happened. <laughs> yeah. I know your daddy's got a reputation, but I also know he's not allowed to cross state lines. <laughs> oh, man. Daddy oh. can't save you down here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what were the interact? Did you how many fallings out or like beefs did you have in Texas? Well, that's where all his exes uh, live. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, not many. Yeah, not Texas many. Is Texas chill. is a scary place, man. Really? Yeah. So the the first week that we went there, uh, that we got there, uh, 
somebody on the road, like the they have service roads. So you do take an exit and you you're on a service road. So yep. Every every highway. Yeah, imagine a, like ninety five or seventy six. There's an additional side road to each one of those. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah, and it's a uh, on a service road that was like near where we live, like a couple blocks from where we live. Uh -huh. Somebody like in a road rage incident. Somebody followed a woman to a stoplight and shot in her car. Where were you? Where are you living? Dallas. Well, we were living in. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, we were living in uh, Euless, halfway between Dallas okay. and Fort Worth. Gotcha. And uh, dude, it was right right in Euless. So did you shoot her because she was wearing blue? <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yeah. Dude, but it's just like everybody carries guns. In yeah, Texas. yeah, yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, you know what I mean? Go. And it's, I'm not trying to piss anybody off when that's, yeah. the, when that's the fucking culture. Yeah, true. I'm going to carry like a pellet gun. Yeah, I have a very I'm shootable stunt. face. You think so? Yeah, if, when, once, once I get somebody going... I'm pretty shootable. Well, I don't. I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't shoot you. What makes a face shootable? I wouldn't waste a bullet on you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can. Yeah. I can maybe understand the logic that whatever it is about you that makes women want to kiss you would also make men want to shoot you. True. Your rivals in love. Yeah. It's these lips. Mm. I was Sydney goes home. <laughs> He's like, Ansley, man, all these white dudes just came up to me and said they want to shoot me in the face in the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So I made a human shield out of four women I started kissing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I was tonight. <laughs> As David, he was there. <laughs> <laughs> ah! yeah, so I couldn't answer my phone, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Ooh, my God. Yeah. Well, Butterly, you were saying that you don't eat cereal anymore. I'd like to. It's <laughs> <laughs> a hell of a transition. <laughs> no, you really switched me on gears. sugar. You made me. You made me feel like I had a brain parasite about sugar. It's poison. I thought I'm. I'm an extremely active male, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I don't really eat too poorly. But then I thought, well, I shouldn't eat sugar every day. I thought like I could have a little bit. Like it's somewhere in the food pyramid. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Sugar's in everything. That's true, and that's my next hurdle to get over. But for now, I've just I've just nailed some of like the very obvious stuff, like eating eating cinnamon toast crunch by the double barrel every night. I've I've come to the grips with the fact that it's fake food, and there's yeah. also with with like crunchy snacks. I read this recently. There's a thing where like it's some sort of like addictive principle. Like when you put a crunchy thing, when you like when you eat a crunchy thing. And it like all of a sudden like it turns to nothing instantly. Mm -hmm. It triggers something in your brain where it's like more, more, more. It's this weird response you're giving yourself. It's very interesting. The, and need, the need to dominate things. Yeah, or just like <laughs> you're you think you're getting a lot of food, then it disappears real quick. You put it in your mouth, crunch it, pause, and it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> you put it in your mouth, pause, crunch it, and then it goes yeah. like it just disappears. So our, you go, our, where the, the brain is like, where'd it go? Yeah, your brain's going, where the fuck did that thing go? And it goes. Oh, you, your brain doesn't make sense of it because it's like. Oh, it was that crunchy. There's no way it can be gone, gone this quickly. Yeah, yeah. I did all that chewing. There should be, there least, should be more yeah. nutrients here. Yeah, and they go get another one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they say also like the fifty-fifty fat carbohydrate combination is like rarely. Uh, it doesn't really exist in nature. Right. So it tricks your cheeseburgers. Trick. <laughs> you say cheeseburgers yeah. don't exist in nature. Yeah, apparently, or like Doritos <laughs> specifically, they're made with like fifty percent fat carbohydrates, or like, there might be more carbs. But. Yeah. So you totally spooked me. I'm I'm um uh, working hard on making changes, dude. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I was, I went into a panic state for a couple of weeks on the sugar. Yeah, because I was like, I worked really hard. I'm I like to get a little bit high at night, and then in that state, I go, this would be the perfect time for a bowl of cereal, and then instantly falling asleep. <laughs> and guess what? I was right every time. It was. It does work. Yeah. But wow, I felt I felt like I was on a conveyor belt, being just about to just drop into a molten vat. Yeah, it's tough. I think I'm thinking of Toy Story 3. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. That it, was it the saddest. So you person. shook me to my core, and I made it. I started making the change, and I'm going to, you know, with God's help, I'll overcome this terrible love flicker. The good guys are winning. The good guys are winning. So, Matt, you're off the sugar, too? Yeah, I try my best, but I'm pretty Oh, I was wondering, your brain seizures? What if it's because you're off the nog? It did start around the same time. No, I've nogged. I've gotten episodes with nog before. I've had uh, this for a while. I didn't know what it was. Dude, I, I think it's Zyrtec, bro. Zyrtec, apparently Zyrtec said you're right. How often are you taking Zyrtec? I was taking it in the summertime with like allergies. I would take it almost every day. Mm, wait, what was no, that about? Very you, that's too much. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I thought right, maybe I'd like take it for three days and stop. But oh, I that's still, so scary. I was taking a lot. But yeah, they say a lot of allergy medicine, they're finding out, uh, not all of them, but a couple of them lower seizure thresholds. So people, they're saying there's late onset um, epilepsy due to, whatchamacallit, allergy medication, over-the-counter oh, no. allergy medication. You've got long-haul stuffy nose. 
I could. I'm just going to go stuffy. But you know, I, I'm telling you, I stopped having them. Once I figured out what they were, I went, okay, cool. Like, it, it's just getting... I actually, I enter kind of like a BDSM state now when I get a uh, stuffy nose. Really? I just lay in bed and I feel my pulse in my sinuses and I go, dude, when I'm not stuffy anymore, I'm going to appreciate every single second of it. And you stay like, stuffed. Mm. And then I can, I got a little bit of the stuff going on right now, but I'm mostly breathing clearly and I can just sit and just be thankful for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to, you got to fight through it. So every we'll, time you have we'll, a stuffy we'll nose. Right just, about. Not taking allergy medication. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. that shit damages. It does it, dude. You know, it works on a part of your brain. There's a part. It's like you would think it just like goes to your nose and like it deletes your boogers. Mm -hmm. No, that's what, I thought. <laughs> that's what I thought the fuck it did. It goes to like your parietal lobe and like shuts it. Yeah, down. I think it adjusts your take, blood flow. I still take one a day. Do you really? That's Not crazy. Zyrtec, though. What you take? Uh, I gotta look it up actually. Claritin D. Allegra, I want to say. Uh, Allegra mm -hmm. might be the fine one. But generic, but generic version. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Algegra. Although, well, I, I, I think eliminating like refined sugars. I wonder if my allergies will be different this year. Maybe we'll see. And you'll never know. Well, Who knows? Pretty sure I'll know. Sure, I'm pretty yeah, sure I'll sure. feel whether it's different or not. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I said you'll never know. I meant you'll have to find out. That was I, one. Think, I yeah. think it'll be impossible to not know. <laughs> yeah. uh, someone pulled the wrong pull string on me. Yeah. You'll never know. <laughs> Yo, when I moved when I moved back from Texas, like when yeah. I moved to te before I moved to Texas, I had terrible allergies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I lived in Texas, there's not really as much like um, as many allergens yeah. in Texas like it is up here. But when I moved back, I still was never as bad as it was really? before I moved. Yeah. Cool. Like, Texas changed my allergies. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow, I, I like how a, a large man named Snake can just change. There better not be any <laughs> stuffy. You think Snake scared my allergies. Yeah. Away? I don't want to see any stuffy noses on my podcast today. <laughs> Find my me, boss. <laughs> he was so big. If I find well, out you got yeah. any box of tissues, boy, you ain't welcome back. In this <laughs> hey, who sniffled in here? <laughs> Pouring them out. And I had no sniffles in here. Cues down until I find out who sniffled. Oh. <laughs> you should have taken. You should have taken them. You should have played like eighty percent as hard as you could, and then just took them. Nah, it wasn't worth it. How old were you when you lived in Texas? I think it was uh, twenty-two and twenty-three. Okay, so this was right after college. Yeah, this or this were you delayed a year because you got kicked out, so you're still in? No, we we, we that's the first place we moved out of college. We moved to Texas. Texas, and this is where you started cleaning up pussy. No, I'm, no, he I was never cleaning stopped up cleaning up college. Up then he got kicked out for. Well, well, oh, that's what all, I'm saying. Out, out of college. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, this it, is where you settle down roots. Okay, you're like a yeah. guy trying to get off heroin. You moved to Florida. I'm gonna put the pussy down and pick this pool stick up and change my life. <laughs> I'm gonna go down south in our wagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, Butterly, you stopped it. <laughs> God dang it, man. What else is going on with everybody? Yeah, David, what's up, man? Yeah, what's going on with you? Not much, man. What are you doing these days? You're single and ready to mingle. What's that like? Oh, uh, I'm on a break married, from... I'm, a, I'm, on a, I'm on a pussy break. Really? What? Yeah. Self-imposed. Yeah, self-imposed pussy break. Really? Yeah. There was a bunch of mental health freaks I met in a row. A conscientious objector, huh? And then I... <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, what I do is I, I pick up dudes who are getting pussy and I just carry them off the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to ejaculate myself. Oh, you're a conscientious objector, my bad. <laughs> yeah, what I do I go to orgies and I just pick people up that have passed out and I just take them out of the orgies and some chick tries to grab my dick and I'm like, I don't believe in that, ma'am. I'm just here to save lives. <laughs> no man left behind. What kind of crazy stuff are they up to? Yeah. I like to hear about that when they just slowly, the facade falls apart and you're like, oh my God, you're <laughs> fucking nuts. No, it's, uh, I, I was telling uh, Danny before, like I had a fucked up neck where I couldn't use my right arm pretty much <laughs> for a couple of weeks. Oh, I mean, nice. A couple of months. So I was That'll like, you know, I was like, yeah, <laughs> definitely eating it. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I don't, I don't feel. Got to eat pussy to the left yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> you got, dude. You I'm, got tell, I'm telling you, neck, dude. eating pussy was not going to be an option. Yeah, yeah, because like the neck was so fucked up. Then you got to explain. They're like, you don't want to eat pussy because you a black man. I'm like, no, look at the MRI. I ain't lying. <laughs> it is. It is funny to imagine David with one useless arm dragging himself on his belly toward the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to quasi photo myself into a, into a pussy eating. Position. Just go, leave me. <laughs> so you, so you're saying if you if you had to eat pussy, it would have to be like in a standing bed. You would have to be standing up straight up. 
I would have to actually. You know what? Um, I think how I would do. What if she? It. What Move if your she? Your feet, soldier. What if you standing sixty nine and she held you? Ooh, that'd be worth it. Yeah, you wouldn't have a choice, really. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Point. I mean, she oh, earns it at that point. Yeah, she mm. could pick me yeah. up. Like the gravity might pull your neck out and like heal you. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, it'd be like an inversion table. Unless she like fucking <laughs> undertake, undertakers me after her. Oh, <laughs> you a fucking pile driver. If you, don't, if you don't make her come, she just fucking undertakers you. Ooh, that's too risky. <laughs> <laughs> that's too risky. Getting pile drive by, I, I wouldn't be a terrible way to go. Getting tombstone You're by a lady. seeing a pussy upside down and dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I've never seen one from this angle. <laughs> You know when you see someone's head upside down and they look all crazy like a Mr. Potato Head? Mm. Yeah. It's always cool. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Matt McCusker. <laughs> Was that one of your ads? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be one of the ads. <laughs> like, yo, it looks like their chin's actually talking and their eyes look like fucking weird things. And it's like, what the hell is that, dude? That should be your ads. Just say, like, weird thoughts. Like, you ever like, look at somebody upside down like a Mr. Potato Head? <laughs> 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 That's just the end of the ad. <laughs> <laughs> What if our faces were really supposed to look like that? And we're all upside down, dude. <laughs> what's a, what's a, you go upside down a lot. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> I'm a big upside down head. <laughs> I'm a big Mr. Potato head. <laughs> How long can you go upside down for? And does that, do you get like longer and Indefinitely longer? now. What? Yeah. At what? first, at first it feels like 10 seconds is way too, it feels like your head's going to explode. Do you sleep yeah. like a bat? No, I just, my back hurts so bad yeah. because I'm such an uncoordinated klutz mm -hmm. and, uh, that my inversion table is just in constant use. And it, when you, the first week that you have it, you're just like, <laughs> you feel like you can't breathe and it feels like your head, it seriously feels like it's going to just pop. Yeah. And then eventually, I don't know, shit, I guess just like redistributes itself and you can just hang out there until you get bored. So, so, definitely. so we're on the same page. You mean like that big thing? Where, you know, you get your ankles strapped in? Yeah, kind of, but, like, mine is, like, a table that you strap your feet in and then you roll it backwards until you're upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Exactly that. Yeah. I forgot that we can't one see each other. Oh, I yeah. can see you. You can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a saw, actually. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, I could save up and get the C, but yeah, I don't really need it. I want to get back surgery. For what? I don't know. Just get Add it. some stuff. <laughs> just get it. Just get it. Dude. Just, like, just get in there. I would, love, strike. I would love two accessory slots on my shoulders so that I could have stuff installed. Oh. Kind of modular. Switch them out for whatever I needed. Maybe That'd like a, pretty cool. a net gun on one side. Sword holders, dude. So, you I mean, Deadpool. Yeah. Go Deadpool. Cyber, cyber sword on one side. Dude, how funny is it when Deadpool uses sarcasm? Oh <laughs> I love that. Nothing cuts like sarcasm. And he's in a real serious situation, and he's like, "Oh," and I'm like, "Oh, dude." And you know, it was really weird how fast that got played out. Like that was like the next. Oh, yeah. day, like people saw the trailer, like, "Oh, it is funny that he's like, hey, bad guys." Yeah. And then the next day, they're just like, "This is the gayest <laughs> shit ever." Dude, that is something that infuriates me with movies. You know, like if uh, if there's like a situation and someone's just like treating like bullets don't hurt. Yeah, you know, for Deadpool bullets don't hurt. But I remember like rush hour movies, watch them as a kid. I was like, oh, this is so funny. Then I watch it as an adult. And I was like, you're really doing Michael Jackson kicks in the middle of a shootout. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we got to go back to that. I think everything's too too gritty now. Too realistic. Oh, you know what I can't deal with in movies when people get hit with crowbars and keep fighting. Yeah, that's a bad one. That's insane. What well, was it? A Russian bad guy. Mm. The Russian bad guy boss. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about it that way. Yeah, that that one. I'm always like, man, I can see that actually. Do you think Snake could have walked through a crowbar? Snake could have. If I swung it, yeah. Really? You would need a snake sized man to hit him with that crowbar, dude. He was like six seven, easily three hundred pounds. Damn. I would have broken the pool cue on him like Steven Seagal. Ah. <laughs> and then when he reached out, when he went, hey, and he reached out, I would have snapped his arm backwards. For sure. Same. Yeah. I mean, I, this is I, easy dude, stuff. Yeah, I obviously. definitely would have been channeling Steven Seagal. Maybe and then I would have switched, I would have switched to Jackie Chan. No. When he started trying to punch me, I would have grabbed a pool ball, put it in front of my head. Oh! oh. Yeah. Uh, every, yeah. <laughs> every pool hall fight scene starts the same way. They try the pool stick and it breaks, and then they feel like, oh, maybe I should use this fucking, this fucking hard as fuck ball instead. Yeah, maybe I should put yeah. a compact weapon in my hand and swing it at cannonball. Him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I would Van Dam him. Do a jump and split kick, mm -hmm. and then someone bounce right off him. over your yeah. back. First hit, <laughs> first hit off. doesn't phase him. Goodness gracious! You like look down, you have blood coming from your nose. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? I'm glad that guy didn't murder you in the parking lot of a Texas. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Cool. I feel like I, I really feel like I made the right decision that night. I think so. Was it? Were you, how much money were you making? Probably like forty, fifty dollars a night. Yeah, I'd say it was. <laughs> yeah, not bad. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, 
Especially in 1975. <laughs> <laughs> that's like $340 now. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, about about $270, 290 Oh, man. Well, God damn it, man. <laughs> I can't think of another fucking... I've had enough of you, Big Mouth. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Pussy eating competition now. <laughs> Two ladies just get on the pool tables. Everyone crowds around. <laughs> Sid's like, Ooh. now Now Sid's really nervous. He has the single sweat going down the sideburn. Oh. <laughs> I ain't never seen someone make my knees come had, that fast. I had pointy sideburns, but I had genuine sideburns. Of course. Oh, of course. God. Yeah. Obviously. What a fucking douchebag. You're uh, walking dude, around. I'm dude, I'm telling you. All red outfit. Did you have <laughs> an all red genuine outfit? Slim oval sunglasses also? No, I, I, I didn't wear sunglasses. Yeah. And anytime a girl would ask, like, why don't you wear sunglasses? I'd be like, because of my long eyelashes. I don't need them. And I would get them focusing on a, a thing, you know? Dude, I, I, the pointy the pointy eyebrow or the pointy uh, sideburns are kind of like, come and get me, racist stuff. <laughs> 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 come and get me, racist. <laughs> mm. What could I? What is one thing I could do to piss a racist guy? It's like pointy sideburns for sure. That drives him nuts. Sag your pants, pointy sideburns. Oh, dancing in hat. the end zone. Backwards yeah. hat. Um, oh yeah. Platinum jewelry, or platinum colored. So, so colored yeah. skin. <laughs> colored <laughs> skin. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many people do you think are left in America that still burn with like vintage racism. Oh, it's everywhere. Mm, it is. It's everywhere. It's, it's places you don't even expect to see it. Like I. It, the vintage racism that I see a lot is like when people don't like when uh like uh black people brag about shit. Yeah. Just like why does it dude, just don't believe it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? Where when is the last time you encountered uh uh well uh so I was arguing with this guy in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the other day I got in a fight with Aquaman in America. And, uh, <laughs> dude, I just sit leaves all these podcasts dude, and there's a burning cross never, outside. Like, never fight me. Aquaman would never he would fight me. Fucking he would fucking never shred, right. dude, dude, he would be like kindred spirit. Aquaman dog, wipes his ass with snake. Bro, you think you channel water power, dude? You dude, I, I You're am fire like, dude, I've been like water since we met. You knew that. You're fire element, dude. I water, am water, water, water. I am Roy, you, dude. <laughs> I am what definitely... was your favorite color back in the day? Blue. Red. You said you were wearing red. I wore red for the ladies. My favorite color has always been blue. Oh man. Oh, I can't you know argue with that. I can't yeah, argue no, with that. Hold on. You know, I've got a, I've got an ace <laughs> oh, up the sleeve here. I feel bad for even revealing this is way too personal. But one time <laughs> we were. One time we were all trying to organize a tubing trip, and Sid, I'm so sorry to to expose this kind of <laughs> extremely sensitive information. Dude. We were trying to organize a tubing trip, Dude. and in the group chat, Sid's wife responds, "That day doesn't work." I, or no, sorry, we can't go tubing. I have work that day, and Sydney is black. <laughs> 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 Pretty legit excuse. It's one of my yeah. favorite text messages I've ever laid eyes on. Oh man. <laughs> Where's the lot? Where's the lot? <laughs> you saying that you're Aquaman. <laughs> That's the lot. <laughs> yeah, because dude, you can't have me on a tube and not in the water. Uh, yeah, that would mean, be like torture for Aquaman. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Having to restrain all of my all of my abilities. I can't show you I can't show off any of my water yeah. tricks. Yeah, yeah turning the yeah. making also the like, flow backwards. You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> I like how Sydney gave himself bravery there. He's like, my favorite color is blue, but I've sacrificed for the ladies by wearing red because I know that's what they want. Just tortured yeah. by the floor suits that could have been. Yeah. <laughs> I would have never worn a color for me back then. Are you kidding me? Everything I did was for the ladies. Favorite color is blue? Yeah. Except for baby, baby blue. Pussy. Baby All blue. I, fuck with, I just fuck with, I love blue. Wow. He doesn't lie. Blue yeah. shirt right now. Come on. He's truly a changed man. Come on. I got into purple recently because that's like that's basically a kind of blue. Yeah, yeah, true. Is that you compromising? <laughs> true, <laughs> true. It's the divided self. <laughs> <laughs> Would you consider a half blue, half red shirt? That's essentially a purple that's shirt. That's a purple shirt, yeah. Jordan Peterson just did the blue and red uh, suit. Oh, right, I forgot. That looked crazy. He looked like Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> he looked so stupid. I was like, whoa, that's kind of slutty. I like that. Ooh, I wonder if he could do cartwheels and fight. <laughs> uh, what did he do that for? I don't know. Someone sent him like a high price suit that was heaven and hell, and it was just a red and blue. He looked insane. Oh, Renaissance. Renaissance. Oh, it's the uh, bloody yeah. duality yeah. of man. Yeah, it was pretty insane. Oh, yeah. yeah. This rem this happened this weekend. So when, uh, when you were asking about uh, uh, how's racism going? Yes. Sick. So, Here, uh, someone check in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm unaffected by it. So I, I went to go see Creed 3. You know, that was the oh. best thing that happened in St. Louis. And um, 
this white dude right before the movie starts he stands in front of like you know everybody and he's like excuse me i found a ten dollar bill uh in case someone has dropped it i've recovered it and i'd like to return it and all the black people were very silent and that's because we were all like, is this some new white trick? <laughs> you know, like some new form of like a racism trap or something like that. <laughs> like what was bait car? Bait yeah. car. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you grab the tent, he's like, ow, get off me. Ow, ow, ow. I'm being mugged. Yeah. Uh, this is bait bucks. <laughs> yeah. Bait bucks. Get your there he is, officer. <laughs> There's the man with my $10. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can test the ten dollars for the DNA. There's black DNA all over it. Oh. <laughs> he tried to take it from me. So what happened? Did he just keep the pocket of the ten? I think everybody was quiet, and then a, one person said, "Like, oh, said something like, um, oh, I think I also dropped a hundred dollar bill or something like that." Oh, yeah, yeah. But I think people just were. Uh, I think he ended up keeping it because uh, everybody was just like suspicious. I'm surprised yeah. not one person like cool jogged up and was like, "Yo, that's mine. That's mine." Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, like ah, let me get that. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. I, 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 I did a cool shit. jog marathon because I don't really fight. I don't like the litter. My bad. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell that jump out of my pocket? Yo, is it green? It has ten on it. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so no. Where was the racism? I mean, I guess potential. It was a trap, obviously. There is no. Yeah, there's no real racism. No, there's anymore. no there's real black racism. racism. Yeah. No, there's no real racism. It's one of those things where you, you're suspicious, as if it's a new racial. Ah, uh, yeah. new strain. It's yeah. a new strain. Yo, everybody's uh like what like white America is like kind of coming down on Ja Morant right now. Who's John Morant? Uh, NBA player for the Memphis Grizzlies, who recently uh, on his Instagram live he was like flashing a gun while he was in a strip club. Yeah, what the hell's the point of being in the NBA if you can't do that? Uh, they frowned upon it. Yeah, no, they're coming down on him. That's they're racist. Down on yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, that's it's, racist. No, what's racist is that they're coming at him like, dude, you're not even gangster. Stop. Well, you know, where it's like, it's, it's you know, he's not trying to be gangster. He's just trying to have fun in a strip club with guns and strippers. That's trying to be gangster though. I mean, this old. Yeah, I'm like, just saying. I see that in person. I might, I might G check. That's and yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's like just. just and like, I'd be like, dude, to... this has nothing to do with me. I, you know, I don't care how this goes one way or the other. I'm actually here I'm <laughs> representing the state. I kind of have to G check you. Yeah. yeah, and he's not. You know, which is why I don't like. So no he would be like, upset with he'd be like, my bad, leave. misunderstanding, not a G. You think that's what he would say? He tried. No, he, he said. Well, somebody, I think somebody, a 17 year old, tried to G check him. No, nah, he's got a streak of some dumb shit. Yeah, he punched this. He punched a seventeen-year-old kid. Yeah, and then went and got a gun and put it in his waistband and came back out and threatened him with it. Yeah, at a pickup yeah. game at his house. At his yeah, that's house. bad. That's a bad. <laughs> Wait, that was that guy. That guy needs, that guy needs some. I'm, he might need some constructive criticism. I'm flashing yeah. back to that guy. Could sit and talk to some white forty-five-year-old dudes. I think he might benefit from that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on how to not lose your so your fortune. Yeah. But he like he but he grew up in like. The suburbs and went to like a private. He has school. parents beating and the shit out of a, beating the shit out of a young bull in front of your own house is kind of g shit though. Yeah, he's forcing it though. Everybody's getting Did he stage done. the young bull. <laughs> yeah, he might. Have that done. makes. Did he use a crisis young bull? <laughs> <laughs> <Well>, to, <laughs> to be fair, he did discover that the young bull ate white. Everyone pussy stand for back. <laughs> this situation calls for an old head. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, That's out front. A Wait a minute! Young boy. <laughs> Wait a minute! That should be a black. That should be a black superhero. Dog, old head, old head. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> they superpowers now. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Wait, a minute. <laughs> Wait, are you guys talking about the N word PD? <laughs> <laughs> Just comes around. Watch out there now. <laughs> well, think about it. <laughs> old head's kryptonite is getting punched in front of a 7-Eleven and like his entire body <laughs> locking up before he hits the ground. <laughs> you got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> my god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude. I love videos of all heads knocking each other out, man. There's so oh, many. Dude, it's the best. Their, their chin is fried from living in the hood their entire lives. <laughs> oh. They're usually both wasted. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just the first dude to even land a little bit. It's full on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what another kryptonite for old heads is? Accusing them of eating pussy. Really? Mm. Dude, they lose their fucking That's like throwing a towel in someone's yeah, face yeah, and then yeah. punching them yeah. as soon yeah. as they're catching it. <laughs> 
<laughs> now you yeah. know I ain't go goddamn. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you did it. You liked it, old head. And then his arms are stuck straight in front of his head. Oh head. god. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so you you're you're saying that there's also there's Indian been some cashiers are essentially like Shao Kahn for black street fights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was, Finish that was, him outside, please. <laughs> Dude, there was a while when like like black dudes stopped wearing chapstick because shiny lips would get you accused of eating pussy. Ooh, wait, what? Yeah, back in the, like in my in my uh, like high school middle school, if like a dude has shiny lips, he'd be like, oh, he's eating pussy. He'd be like, no, I wasn't. And he'd like fucking wipe, wipe the off. chapstick off his lips. What the fuck is wrong with your with your upbringing, dude? You. <laughs> Dude, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was a probation officer for mad people from my town. Yeah, really. You know what the fucking type of gener degenerates I was dealing with. You know exactly <laughs> what I was dealing with. Yeah, yeah. it was. Uh, yeah, I forgot. I was back in Pottstown recently for the first time, and I forgot how much I hated that town. Dude, it is a strange. You're a probation officer. I used to be. That's awesome. Yeah, that was always the job I always wanted. Yeah. Probation officer. Really? That'd be mm. fun. It wasn't it fun at all, or was is it kind of like boring and sad? It's not fun. It's uh, you, well, you get paid shit, and you have to oh, deal really? with fucking crazy people. Yeah, can you were, bribe were the them people in like crazier than other people? Pottstown was like mental health freaks and yeah. like circus people. It, this, that, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> like you would see shit in Pottstown you wouldn't see anywhere else. There was John Goodman bikini woman. Like it was just. <laughs> Picture John Goodman on a bikini. In a bikini. <laughs> oh, in walking, a bikini. Yeah, sorry, wearing a bikini. <laughs> wearing a bikini. On too. Just walking around free. Yeah. Okay. And she would just walk through Pottstown, just wearing bikinis. Is all that the, the lady who taught you about fucking fingering? <laughs> 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 Say you're gonna yeah. finger my pussy, and I'm gonna tell you about the show. <laughs> it's called Dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you, I, you, I forgot how hit me on the head with a frying pan when you, I'm about to come. <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't realize how fucked up the people in Pottstown were until I went to college and start meeting. Yeah. Other because even like all Why the is people, so fucked up? Dude, I don't know. I don't, dude, it's fucking dude, we're weird. like downstream it's of the so nuclear weird. power plant, maybe. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, man. It's like it's a weird fucking place. What's it like compared to Norristown? It's weird. It's like it's, it's like the hills have eyes compared to Norristown. Really? Yeah. Yeah, like Norristown, like you you under everything you see that's at whatever outside the box, it, it's explainable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, Norristown is more you of know, an Orthodox yeah. hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. I will say there Dude, was nothing makes sense in Pot. Pottstown's reformed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like uh, there was this, there was this retarded Mexican gentleman, <laughs> Puerto <Go> Rican. On. <laughs> Puerto Rican. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Cuban, actually Cuban. <laughs> Damn it! I was gonna have a joke about that. That makes it funny because that's just boring to me. <laughs> where, <laughs> where, uh, I don't see why it matters anymore. You can only retard it. Well, he um around the courthouse. I used to work at the courthouse all the time. And uh, there's a McDonald's around the corner from there on a main intersection. That's where you'll find them. And uh, there <laughs> was, in Norristown. Yeah, Norristown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was this retarded Mexican gentleman who would dance at that corner at the McDonald's. But then as you got closer to him, you started dancing too. So you're like, okay, I get it. I get that, it. That kind of rule. Yeah, that's. I, <laughs> yeah, but he would do eight, he would do ten hour shifts Whoa. every day. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Scared money don't make money, dog. <laughs> but, I, but here's the point, though. That Spend guy, Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> that guy makes sense. You can explain him. Like people in Norristown, you, I mean people in Boston, you can't. Yeah, explain. yeah. No, it's just, it's a strange dude. Everybody is like, um, everybody is super crazy. And I swear to God, I'm not making this up. Everybody in Pottstown is the most confident person you've ever met in your life. Oh, dude. I had a woman who had HIV that told me we can hook up. Really? Yeah, because she says my HIV levels are non-detectable, so let's fuck. Yeah, I can hold I it in. A I real, can hold it in. I think in. that's a real thing. I, I've heard that if your levels are non-detectable, it's like... Non-transferable or whatever. So if but you, oh, it's not Dave, if, most... you, if you run, you can probably catch her before she gets on her flight. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the Pottstown romantic comedy. <laughs> I've been thinking about what you said ever since you told me you would get me pussy eight hours ago, and I just wanted to let you know I can't let you just walk out of my life like this. You might be stopping a bus, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got a little airport. Pottstown has an airport. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. called the Newport Airport. 
<laughs> Named after a box. Every of pilot, like, yeah. how, I can do it. I can fly a plane. I can fly. <laughs> Basically, what it that's is. a pilot test. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, dog. I got this. Yeah, I can take you to St. Louis. You got jet fuel money. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take off. I've got a lot of pussy last night. So excuse me. Uh, I'm a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah, gonna dude. do a barrel roll. <laughs> yeah, it's a strange place, man. Yeah, I remember like, you, like I mean, there was one dude. I give it, you know, you have to what they call like you know, drug drug test, pop a hot or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, like only in Post Town where a, someone would just take their dick out in the living room. Mm. I think like, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, everybody else goes to the bathroom, like Post Town, to dick out in the living room, and you have to explain to them. No. Like, you <laughs> not putting a cup you, underneath you, your dick in the living room. Smack his penis with a newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. But that's like that that would like make sense to a per like that that shit would make total sense to a person. I'm and that's it. like and that's the the fucking people you are doing like logic battle with yeah. your whole entire life. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fucking it, they are insane people god damn well at least it hasn't completely warped your mind <laughs> <laughs> well i mean i'm from Town. i very much enjoy the person that i am <laughs> i'm very confident about the person that you I am. won you finally yeah. won all the arguments you went i won and you're in texas and you just talk to one guy and he's like what the fuck are you talking about man the hell? i will say that uh yeah, i will say that you're not in a pool hall sir <laughs> sydney does have non-detectable hiv confidence <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 There's so many Everyone layers. Everyone knew I had the best white blood cell count. <laughs> it, would actually, it would actually protect you from ever getting AIDS. Really. I was in the grocery store and these white blood cells were following me around. <laughs> oh my God. Dudes, we did it. Oh, is that it? We did it. Oh, man. We did it. Man, wow. Oh, David wow. James, thank you for David, all of that. David motherfucking James. Goodness man. gracious. That was like a speed round of two episodes. Yeah. Tomb yeah. Champ. Tomb Champ. Are you sure that wasn't just 30 minutes of podcast? No, that dude, was two that was hours? hour. I got my eye on the dubs. Holy shit. Yikes. Eye on the dubs. I can't believe it. A banner episode. Unbelievable.